Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we created the placeholders for input layer and the output layer and saw the neural network structure that we'll be using for the MNIST dataset example. Uh, now in this video, we will be creating hidden layers and their weights and biases. Now let us take a look at the weights and biases for the first hidden layer. As you know that I am creating two hidden layers in this example. So this is the hidden layer 1. I have named the weights for the first hidden layer as weights 1 and this is truncated normal. What is truncated normal? We know that the weights change according to the value of the input. However, the weight should not change too much. They should be in a particular range. And secondly, the weight should be as close as possible to zero. So truncated normal creates a boundary for them. That is, it prevents the weight from going, from deviating too much. It keeps the weight in a particular range. Here we mention the standard deviation of 0.01. This means that the value of weight will be between 0.001 to minus 0.001. That is in the range of 0.001 from 0. As we know that the first hidden layer consists of 120 neurons. So I give it a value of 120 here. And second thing that the values coming out from the input layer are 784. That is there are 784 neurons in the input layer. And uh, you can even take it as 784 pixels of the image. Now let us take a look at the biases. Each and every neuron of the hidden layer gets a bias. Initially I am giving it a value of 0. Uh, there are 120 neurons in the first hidden layer. So I have named, I have given it a shape of 120. Next we create the output that will be going out of the first hidden layer. So the output is a matrix multiplication of input that is x and the weights. The x are the values and weights as you know I have created here and the addition of biases. So the output that goes out of the hidden layer it is the matrix multiplication of the input values and the weights and addition of biases. This passes through a, this passes through an activation function. I'm using an, I'm using ReLU as an activation function in this example. So now let us understand this properly. Here O is the output. I1 i2 and i3 are the values, w1, w2 and w3 are the weights and b1 is the bias. As I said it is the matrix multiplication of input value and the weight. So w1 is the weight and i1 is the value or the input value and this is its multiplication. w2 is the weight, i2 is the value and it is the multiplication. Similarly w3 and i3 and we add a bias to it. And after we do this matrix multiplication and bias addition, we pass the value through an activation function. Activation function is used to determine the output of the neural network that is if its value will be a yes or a no. If the output of this matrix multiplication comes out to be negative, then the activation function causes the output of the neuron to be zero and if the matrix the output and if the output of the matrix multiplication is positive then the activation function causes the output of the neuron to give out a value of 1 that is either a yes or a no. So as I said this is the matrix multiplication we add the bias and we pass it through an activation function that is ReLU in this example. Now let us run this part of code. Now let us take a look at the second hidden layer. Uh, I gave it a name of weights underscore 2. Uh, it consists of 32 neurons in this hidden layer and it gets 120 values from the first hidden layer. So I take it, so I take a shape of 120 by 32. Similar to the first hidden layer, I give it a standard deviation of 0.001. The second hidden layer consists of 32 neurons. So the shape of the bias is 32 and I name it as bias 2. Similar to the first hidden layer, the output of the hidden layer 2 
will be a matrix multiplication of the input values and the weights. The input value in this case will be the output of the first hidden layer. So I have mentioned hidden layer 1 here and the weights and we add the bias. The output of this matrix multiplication and bias addition will be passed through an activation function. I am using a ReLU, fun ReLU as an activation function in this example. Now let us take a look at the output layer. But let's execute this part of code. Now let us take a look at the output layer. The output layer has 10 neurons and it gets 32 values from the previous hidden layer. That is the hidden layer 2. And I am naming it as weights. The output layer is 10 neurons so it gets 10 bias values. Similarly we do the matrix multiplication of the values and the weights. The values are the we get the values from the hidden layer 2 so I mentioned a hidden layer 2 here and then we add the biases. However for the output layer instead of using the relu as an activation function I am using a softmax activation function. So we and now I will run this part of code. In this example we created hidden layers 1 and 2 and they are weights and biases. I hope you like the video. Please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.